الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وبعد. One of the most daunting moments for the noble companions, may Allah be pleased with them, was contending with the demise of the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم. And if that was challenging for every Sahabi, we can just imagine how difficult it was for the honorable consorts and the spouses of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. But he صلى الله عليه وسلم addressing his honorable, venerable consort said to them, "Asrakunna lihaqam bi atwalukunna yadan." The first to join me in Jannah and in Akhira post my demise will be the one with the longest hand. And the narration goes, Aisha radiallahu anha says that we initially interpreted this hadith literally and not metaphorically. فَكُنَّا إِذَا جِتَمَعْنَا فِي بَيْتِ إِحْدَانَا Whenever we would gather amongst ourselves, we would literally measure the hand of one against the other. حَتَّى تُوَفِّيَتْ زَيْنَبْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهَا Until Zainab uh, from amongst us رضي الله عنها passed on. وَكَانَتْ إِمْرَأَةً قَصِيرًا And she was the shortest in stature. And that is the time we realized that the reference to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that the length of hand rather meant the generous hand, the giving hand, the donating hand. And that is precisely what we give you the opportunity from Al-Imdad, that Allah gives you an opportunity and with the grace of Allah, we report to you live from the ground. One of our recent initiatives, and I'm sure you've been following us on the different social media platforms, is where our teams went out and I personally was there on the ground in rural Kenya. Trust me when I say rural, absolutely rural. Where even a glass of water is, 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 is a privilege, is a privilege to say the least. And Alhamdulillah, with your generous donation, Allah made it possible for us to reach out, identify a location in which uh, the, the building of an entire city has come into existence. And this dream has come to fruition. So it is a city and the best part of it is the name of the first city was the city of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Can you imagine the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ana wa kafilul yatimi fil jannati hakada, that myself and the orphan will be that close on the day of Qiyamah. And he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man taraka malan fali ahlihi wa man taraka daynan aw diyaan fa alayya. If you leave behind wealth, it can go to your relatives. But if you die leaving behind debts or, or orphans, I will take care of it. In this village, named after the Messenger وسلم, there are hundreds and tens of hundreds of orphans. And through your donation, you sponsor uh, a village like this or a home in this village. When Sayyidina Uthman made water available, Bir Ruma, the well of Ruma, he وسلم, said, that uh, whoever will make this water available, I will arrange for him a spring in Jannah. So to those of you that have been supporting the initiative, uh, may Allah bless you, may Allah reward you. We pray for you the same prayer that the Prophet ﷺ made for the donor. Nay, the angels say, Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafa wa a'ti mumsikan talafa. The Prophet ﷺ said that daily two angels come on earth, they inhabit the earth and they make a prayer in favor of the donor that may Allah grant him or her a replacement. And you know what my brother and you know what my sister, Allah says in the 22nd Jews in Surah to Sabah that man faqtum min shayin fahuwa yukhlifu Whatever you spend, Allah will substitute. And the scholars of Tafsir tell us the declaration and the promise of Allah is a substitute. And Allah does not necessarily say a monetary substitute. So sometimes Allah will replace it by contentment. Sometimes Allah will replace it by health. Sometimes Allah will replace it by, by wealth or whatever. The promise, the declaration of Allah is your donation will be replaced and it will be substituted. So we have a village that comprises of 100 homes. Yes, um, nothing lavish, nothing elaborate. For those living in straw huts, this is something. They're moving into something brick built, brick built. And, and, and after interacting and interviewing them, their joy and their excitement is something beyond description. You remember the moment when Sayyidina Umar was patrolling the streets and he prepared food uh, for this family that was travelers and they were wayfarers. 
and after providing food, he stood and he observed them. And then uh, his servant said, move on, O Umar. He said, I seen them in hunger. Allow me a moment to see them with their bellies satiated. I promise you, my brother, and I promise you, my sister, Wallah, there is nothing more fulfilling than going out. We had the opportunity to make wudu in that well, which through your donation now allows for tens of hundreds of people to come and, and, and draw water in their buckets, take it back to their little home in which some basic food is provided. When the companions asked the Prophet Alana fil Baha'imi Ajrun, O Prophet of Allah, will we be rewarded if we make water or food available to the animals? And he وسلم, said, feed any living creature and paradise is yours. So once again, the Al-Imdad Foundation gives you this great opportunity to channel your funds in a place where it reaches the most desperate of the desperate. Whatever privileges and resources Allah has given us is a boon from Allah. And Sayyidina Ali radiallahu said to Sayyidina Jabir, uh, He said, Let it not be that your wealth diminishes. Let it not be that your wealth is depleted. And the only way to maximize and increase your wealth is to continue giving. So we urge you, when Allah's bounties increase upon you, then don't up your standard of living, but increase your volumes of donation.